Okay, so <clears throat> before we get into this video even at all, I'm just going to clear this up here so that hopefully somebody gets it right. It is pronounced Nidarian, or if you want to go with the Greek style, Knidarian, okay? That's, that's how you say it. Don't screw it up. Okay, let's get into the video now. We got a cool update here. Okay, so first things first, public testing for Realm is now open. You can check the description for more info on how to join that. Every new character that you make is going to be 6-8. It comes with like free items. It comes with a backpack and a Lost Halls 2.0 perma key. So that means you can open as many as you want as long as you wait like 30 seconds between opening them. Also, the new classes are free to unlock if you don't have them. Um, by new, I mean like something like the Ninja. If you don't have it, you can just buy it. There's a new dungeon called the Nidarian Reef. I'm going to I'm gonna use that one because it's more English sounding. The Nidarian Reef, which is an Oryx court dungeon. It means jellyfish reef. That's what a you know, Nidarian is. It's similar to the Puppets Encore, but it's underwater. It's pretty cool. I did a couple of them. It's, it's kind of difficult when you don't know what you're doing because you back out to stay away from the shots, but you then don't get to breathe the air because they put all the air near the center, near the boss. So you just have to be sort of cognizant of where you're at and make sure that you don't drown, or I guess it's called suffocating in Realm, while you're trying to dodge the shots. The drops that it has is it does drop a scepter that does more damage the more targets it hits. So like I believe it's each sequential target receives more damage than the last, which is pretty cool. It's called the Nidaria Rod. And there's also a poison that summons a jellyfish to fight for you. So kind of like the bee helm for the warrior called the Bald Medusa Zoan. So that's like jellyfish creature thing. It also seems to drop a lot of like death and attack old tops. I got like an agate claw dagger and like two death and two attack in the same bag, which was pretty cool. There's also a bunch of useful gear at the mystery box shop. If you haven't seen that yet, you can get your items to like get your characters ready, your pet, extra character slots and things. You can go ahead and just get those. They're all free. Some of them are limited time uh, or like limited quantity stuff. So just make sure you get those while you can. The... 10 star key requirement has been disabled, so you don't have to worry about that when you're like popping your keys and stuff. I don't know if that's a permanent change, they haven't updated the tooltips for that yet, but just so you know, you can use your keys during this update for public testing. There's a new sorcerer set, which is pretty cool, we'll have like a full video on that when it comes out and everything. Um, it's gonna drop from the Mad Lab, it makes you look like the horrific creation. It's pretty neat, I think it's really awesome looking, it's very unique, which is nice, it does a ton of damage too, so... Just be ready for that. It's going to come out eventually in a video. Just keep checking in when that comes out. Speaking of new stuff, we got the Lost Halls 2.0 coming. It's not here yet. Um, they're still ironing out some stuff, but it should be here, I think, within about a month, they said. There's, like, new hazard rooms with challenges, things like pure evil and stuff. Just make it a little more fun, interesting, and varied. Most of the rooms are larger now, but there's less rooms, so it should take less time to do each Lost Halls run. Um, bosses are bigger rooms now, which should be nice for dodging. HP scaling has been implemented. Class targeting is removed, so like, specific enemies will not jump on specific characters now, which, I don't know, I never really noticed that doing much, and it sounds like it was just sort of buggy, so they took that out. There have been general tweaks to all kinds of enemies, just damage, shots, everything like that in the Lost Halls. So there's, there's way too many to go over. If you want to read the patch notes, I'm sure those will be released in full when the Lost Halls come out. So you can just check that on Reddit and stuff, and you'll be good to go. Um, attacks and phases are more fun now for bosses. They just added some extra stuff, um, especially like the cultist. So it's just going to be a more interesting fight. Just be careful of that when it is released, that you will have to sort of relearn some of the shot patterns and things, which I think is cool because that makes the game more fun. There's also a new summon item coming, we hope. There's like been some ability testing and things um, that deck has been working with. And there's this new summon item that brings in a familiar to fight for you, it sounds like. So I don't know if that's supposed to be related to the poison that summons a jellyfish, or if that's a completely different thing. It doesn't look like they've decided on a class for that yet. So maybe it has to do with the new class that they're discussing. Who knows? I think it's pretty cool that they're adding a class because it's been forever since we've had one. But just keep your eyes peeled for that when that is released in the next update. And obviously we'll make an update video on that so you can just check in on the channel. Anyway, that's most of the new stuff here. If you have any questions in the comments, let me know. If you want to set up your testing account, check the description for more info on how to do that. And I hope you all have a great time on testing. 
check out some of our live streams. We'll probably be streaming a bit of this testing stuff all week. Uh, as long as it's open, I believe it's going to be two or so days here. So uh, yeah, stop by sometime. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Get up there.